In this series of videos, I'm going to talk about algorithm engineering. Even though uh, the main topic of the course is computational geometry, at least for one of the projects, you will need to implement uh, one geometric algorithm, or actually a few geometric algorithms. And then you will need to run experiments and, and write a report about those uh, algorithms. And to be able to do that, uh, we need to first understand algorithm engineering and what are the proper ways of uh, doing that. Um, so in this series of videos, I'm gonna, we're going to try to learn a little bit about algorithm engineering. Uh, we're not going to go too deep into it because we don't really have the time. Um, and we're going to mostly scratch the surface and we're going to also look at algorithm engineering from our point of view. In other words, from a point of view that is uh, useful for us in this course. If you're interested, um, there are more books and references that I can give you so you can read up on your own. And also, I need to tell you that this used to be a course before Gert used to teach it, but then uh, a few years ago when we restructured the master's level courses, um, the, the algorithm engineering kind of merged with computational geometry. And it's actually a choice that makes a lot of sense because to be able to run the experiments needed for the project that I'm talking about, um, you need to understand algorithm engineering. So before that, I had the problem that the students who had taken Gerd's course would write really good reports. The student who had not taken it would do poorly. So at least in this way, I can actually tell you a few things about how to do those projects. And then uh, you can try to learn a bit uh, about algorithm engineering. Uh, 